I'm a celebrity now. I can't just go into the store by myself. Ooh. The lighting in here is terrible. I raised you better than that. I did. Let's go! Hello everybody! My name is Dominique, that's Song for Dami, and you are watching Misadventures with Dami. Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I hope whoever is watching this is happy, healthy, and thriving. And if you are returning friends, hey bestie, I missed you. Today I am just getting the vlog started. It's um Thursday, so we're just gonna call it a weekend vlog, right? Because we're gonna have a, a cute little three-day weekend. I know that it's not. This is currently taking place on August 26th, that's my business, get out of it. But yeah, I need to go run some errands today. Right now I'm doing a foundation wear test. Those are the words, those are the words. So if you are interested in seeing that, I'll post it somewhere in the description or like leave a thing up here if that video goes up before this one. I don't really have any specific things planned for today. Like I know there's some things that I need to get done, but I have a way of just uh, getting things done. Like I don't have a, I don't have a routine, I don't have a, like a set schedule, you know? Um, Cause I'm an Aries, you know? That's just not how we vibe, that's just not how we roll. We're very spontaneous, we're very fiery, we're very um, chaotic, if you will. So, if you want to see what I do for the rest of this weekend, stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do that. It helps your girl out. And leave a like down below because, you know, <laughs> we're trying to make this money. And leave a comment too because it helps with my engagement. All right, let's get into it. Boop. All right, y'all, there was a casualty while I was getting ready today. Um, it's all right, it's fine. We'll deal with it later. It's just a metal shard in my finger, it's fine. Um, anyway, this is my outfit for today. I'm sorry, I know it's all wonky and whatnot. This is not our final space, all right? Uh, but anyway, I have this cute top that I got from a thrift store. I have no idea what the brand is, so I'm sorry. I got this skirt that my mom gave me because I look really good in it, and my Tevas in the Modani bag. And then we're gonna go out, and I'm gonna try to not get my finger infected. All right, y'all, we're here in the parking lot. And I'm anxious. I don't want to go into the store by myself. I usually have either Chloe or a friend or my mom. Like, I'm a celebrity now. I can't just go into the store by myself. And also, I'm really anxious because I'm dressed all trendy and cute. And I don't want anyone to say anything to me. I don't want anyone to talk to me. That's a problem. I should probably talk to my therapist about it. Okay, let's go. Fun fact, sometimes I forget that I'm like a full-fledged adult. So whenever I go places and like grown ass men look at me, I'm like, ew, I'm a kid. But then I'm like, wait, <laughs> whole ass adult here. Anyway, I need new sponges. I think I'm gonna get these cause they're pink. Walmart's really stepping up the game. Should I have gotten a basket? Maybe, perhaps. Uh, it's too late to go back now because I have anxiety. Um, anyway. Since we are moving, I've decided that I need to start looking for actual things for the move. Oh my God. Sorry, my bandaid came off. Um, because Chloe is graciously giving me the entire second bedroom for like the plan room slash YouTube room. So I'm very excited for that. I'm just walking around, just letting inspiration strike, you know? And also no one's home, so I don't have shit else to be doing. The lighting in here is terrible. All right, everybody, I'm home. Well. I'm at one of my homes. I figured I would show you guys what I got from Wally World. We got bagel bites, right? The pizza kind, cheese and pepperoni is the best way to go. Do you not agree? Huh. Okay. <laughs> I got bowl of noodles. I got the spicy chicken kind. I started eating these in college and then got, th got me through many, many rough nights. We got the Lay's Stacks, the sour cream and onion because, they yes, they are great because Scarlett ate them all last time when I was here. She didn't save me anyway. So I got my own. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let's not mention the Doritos and the, the popcorn okay. that you have. I just ate the last few okay. crumbs of the chips. Now you're putting me out on my own vlog. Please stop. Anyway, I got a honey bun. <laughs> I got 
got brownie bites. Have you had these? They're so good, I'll let you try one. If you have not had I these, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the same exact brownie that you can get from several different companies. I've had these from Target, from Winn-Dixie, that's a grocery store here in the South, and now Walmart, and they all taste exactly the same. I don't know what they put in these, these recipes, but they're like crap, they're so good. So. Got some of those, gonna let try Scarlett try some so she'll quit yelling at me. I got myself a raspberry lemonade. The beauty blenders that I actually went in there to get. And a new Denman brush because I was tired of using my itty bitty one. I'll put in a clip to show y'all how small that thing is. That's what I got and now I'm gonna go make me some lunch and harass my best friend. Bye! Scarlett's judging me right now because I just told her a story while we weren't Speaking that she had never heard before, and now she's judging I'm me. Not judging. But I'm a happily married woman now. I don't do the type of things <laughs> that I did back then when I was a whore. But now I'm married. I don't do those things anymore. And she's judging me. I'm not judging. You're judging me. All right, everybody. So we are home now, and just like any good mother. I left my children home unattended and now all they're doing is running around fighting each other and I'm trying to figure out who raised them. Hello? Hello? All right. Oh, look, look at that. They come running when they think there's gonna be some food involved, which there is, it's their feeding time, so. Wow, you greedy little niblet. You greedy niblet. Come on. Not y'all yelling. Come on, here. You happy? You're literally purring, okay. So as y'all can imagine, Miss Mama's Persephone, she's very high maintenance, but her sister, Spunky, she hasn't been for the past few years, but now that she's seeing the treatment that Persephone gets on a regular basis, I feel like she's extra moody, because she's like, she has a cute water fountain. Why don't I have a cute water fountain? Because her water fountain isn't cute. But she gets pretty decent treatment here, you know? She gets rent of the house. She literally does whatever the fuck she wants. Persephone does not do that. Spunky has been a terrible influence on Persephone though because she started jumping on counters. And I'm like, no ma'am, we don't do that. We don't do that. You're a private school cat? Mm-mm, you don't do that. That's for them public school cats. We don't, mm-mm. I raised you better than that. I did. Why are you nuzzling the food? All right, enough, enough. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. As you can see, I am still safely located in bed. I was abruptly woken up this morning by the cat aggressively purring in my ear, my mom yelling that she was leaving, and like waking up to 32 Instagram notifications, even though I thought I turned those off a year ago. So it's safe to say that I am not in the best of moods right now, but I'm up. I'm Adam, whether I like it or not, and I'm gonna get things done. Woo, so just to catch y'all up, uh, last night when I got home, all I did was get my splinter out. Well, my mom got my splinter out, technically, but the splinter is no longer in my finger. It hurt like a mother fricker. And then I just sat down and got some work done because I've been working on my whole work boundaries and whatnot so I was really good with that um, but then I was really bad with that because I literally didn't go to sleep until like 2 a.m. because I just wouldn't stop so boundaries have been set but they've also been crossed you know so today all I'm going to be doing is detangling my hair going into town again to run more errands and I think I'm gonna go harass my mom at her job I don't know if she's there but yeah that's what we're doing today uh, I hope y'all are enjoying the vlog so far I'm loving making these a lot more than I expected to I think it's really fun for me to like record during the day and then afterwards I sit down and I edit all the stuff so like I don't have to edit it all at the end of the week and it's been really fun it's almost like a little visual diary for me so it's been really fun sitting down and like seeing the things that I do throughout the day and knowing that I'm gonna put it on the internet for my internet besties to enjoy and so I can look back on these days one day because right now your girl's going through it I'll make another video about that but I know I'm gonna be able to look back on these videos and be like oh my gosh I feel like that then but I feel like this now uh, like you know all those full circle moments that everyone's always talking about and enjoying but whatever
whatever let's go get the day started I need to eat and I need to wash my face because I'm having some breakouts on my cheeks that I'm trying to get taken care of and yeah I'm just ready to get this day started let's go all right y'all I just had breakfast but I'm already thinking about lunch so I want my mother to buy lunch I'm gonna call her I'm gonna coerce her into it and I'm gonna leave it here for proof Please leave a message at the beat. Thank you and God bless. Um, hello mother, it's your firstborn. I'm just calling to see why you don't love me and why you can't pick up the phone. I could be dying. Um, anyway, are you taking me to lunch today? Because there's no food here. Love you, bye. Well, that was a bust. What the heck? All right, so I didn't do my skincare routine on camera. One, because I didn't feel like doing it on camera. And two, because my battery died. So I had an actual legit reason for not doing it besides being a lazy piece of shit. But if y'all want to see that, just comment down below. And ma'am, ma'am, you are really interested in those brownies and I need you to stop. Thank you. Anyway, and even if you don't want to see it, I might do it anyway because I like skincare, so. That's my business. Anyway, we are about to detangle my hair and I just figured that I would come on camera and like do some rants and some raves. Are y'all really fighting right now? All right, so I'm about to take off this bonnet. All right, and before I do it, I need you to know that if you laugh, you're anti-black, okay? So don't do that. I know it don't look that bad. Okay, it look kind of bad. All right. Oh, we're gonna take this down. Oh my god. I'm gonna zhuzh it a little bit. See, like I this is this is a wash and go, but I can't even tell you what day wash and go this is. I don't feel like washing it again, but something definitely needs to be done with it. So yesterday I showed y'all that I got a new Denman brush. This is the new one. This is huge compared to the one that I last used in my natural hair care video. Let me show y'all this. This is what I had been using since freshman year of college, all right? This is your sign from me, a cheap ass, to go and buy that thing that you definitely need that you've been putting off for too long, all right? Because look at this, look at this. It's too much, it's too much. Why did I do this to myself? You gonna work? All right. Um, I am not a professional hair guru. I'm just like I'm not a professional beauty guru. I just kind of vibe. I just want y'all to know that my phone is on the tripod, so I'm not just like sitting here laughing at myself. I mean, I do that all the time, but I am actually laughing at something right now. <laughs> all right, see this? This is why you should detangle at least twice a week. Don't be like me. Oh my God, like I know, let me clarify. This amount of hair is normal. I'm just shedding. I have curly hair. So instead of my hair just falling out like, you know, straight strands do, um, it just bunches into my hair. So it's a lot more cleanly, but it's also a lot more of a hassle to detangle. I just wanted to come on and say that because, because you guys deserve better. You don't deserve to sit here and detangle your hair for forever. All right, so this morning when I woke up, like I told y'all, it was like a very abrupt waking up with the cat and my mother and just, yeah. So I woke up this morning and like, you know how you, you'll you have like a feeling of like, something's going on. What's going on? I could not for the life of me remember what today was. And I even asked, uh, not Google, I even asked Siri. I was like, Siri, what's today? And she told me it was the 27th. And I was like, it's the 27th. I was like, why is that an important number right now? And I was like, I was born on the 27th, but it's not March. And then I was like, it's August. What's on August 27th? It's my best friend's birthday! <laughs> I just got 
got a Google Calendar reminder and I'm like, I'm terrible. Her birthday is August 27th and my birthday is March 27th and that's literally how I'm supposed to remember her birthday. I'm terrible. See, that's what I meant. That's what I meant about out of, sight, out of sight, out of mind. I need to work on that. But anyway, I just texted her and I'm gonna see her this weekend. Alina, I don't know if you actually watch my videos, but if you do see this video right now, I love you best friend and we're gonna have a great time this weekend. All right, y'all, I'm back. So this is the little hairstyle I came up with for right now. I just have these three little flat twists in the front and I'm just gonna let my hair do what it wants to do in the back because I'm not braiding. I have too much hair. But this is what we got. It's funny because I was off camera and it's always the moments when you go off camera that hilarious things happen. But my mom texted me and she was like, hey, will you come get my car and put air in the tire? And I was like, girl, two things, all right? One, I have no idea how to do that. And two, I was in the middle of doing my hair. Like literally, I had like two little puffs on top of my head and they were not even and I looked crazy as hell. I was like, I'm not leaving this house right now. But anyway, yeah, I just thought that was a little funny moment. I wish I'd still been recording. But I was watching this vlogger who I started following a while ago, not a while ago, like a week or so ago. And I love her videos. Her name is Devin. I will put her right here and maybe like link her down in the description. But her vlogs are so nice. Like, I don't know. Have you ever just watched a video and it's just like very like calming and like aesthetic? That's what her videos are. So like the complete opposite of mine, not chaotic, not chaotic at all, you know? But yeah, it's just really cool seeing people who look like me, you know, doing this because I remember there was a point in time when I was on YouTube all the time, just like consuming it, not actually as a content creator. And I was just like, dang, like there is nobody who looks like me. Like, and if there were, they, they were black, but they didn't look like me, you know? Like they weren't full figure, they weren't curvy, they didn't have coily hair, then like they just, like they weren't relatable. So for the longest time, I remember having to consume very white media and there's nothing wrong with that, um, but it's just really cool now in 2021 seeing people like me on this platform like happy and thriving. Like I think she has like 40,000 subscribers on YouTube and in her last video I was watching she was talking about how all these brands reached out to her and how she's so excited about her future and stuff, but she also like struggles with anxiety and I don't know. It just warms my heart to see black women thriving like. <sighs> That's what I'm all about. But anyway, it's lunchtime. It is 2.04. We finna go make some noodles. Let's go. These are the noodles. I haven't made noodles from this brand in so long. I first found these when I was in college. Um, it was actually, I was in college, but it was the summertime. And I was working at Walgreens. That place is terrible. And they had these noodles on sale and they were like, a dollar but they were like in this huge packaging in these bowls and i was like i want that i was like so one day i just bought one and i've been addicted to them ever since they're 98 cents at walmart you should never buy anything from walgreens because it's overpriced uh yeah they're really good and i'm sure they're not nutritional <laughs> yeah they're not great for you lots of sodium but uh they taste good and i'm gonna dress them up with some kimchi so we're gonna put that in the microwave and gonna have a lunch all right this is what the noodles look like when they're finished i don't add any seasoning or anything to it besides that flavor packet it comes with and these noodles are so good and then the kimchi on the side and this little bento box type thing situation. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit down and eat lunch and do some work because I need to work on editing something. Hello everybody, so I just took a break to go and check the mailbox and there was a package for me. I know that the postal service workers are so tired of my behind. Oh, it's coffee. This is from Pete's Coffee. Ooh, ooh, they give me coupons. 
we love a coupon uh, I got this through like a platform thing and um, I just get to try out this cool new coffee from Pete's it is hazelnut mocha actually you know what I can use a little bit of coffee right now cuz your girl is dragging hold on let's make some coffee I need ice this is an iced coffee family if you drink hot coffee I think you're probably a serial killer it's 2021 put some ice in your coffee that's right spunky that's right all right y'all so I made the mistake of already doing the most aesthetically satisfying part which is pouring the creamer into the coffee but I needed it to cool off so it doesn't melt my mom's cup so this is the coffee and the creamer this is the creamer i use the silk oat milk creamer or oat creamer oh it's vanilla i didn't know it was vanilla okay i haven't tried that before but chloe's been drinking it for the past few weeks and they seem to like it so i'm sure i won't hate it all right i'm gonna go ahead and put this straw in here it's reusable straw because you know <laughs> save the turtles Ooh, yeah. I made the smart decision of putting it into a mason jar. Hmm. Huh. What flavor is this? Hold on. This is hazelnut mocha. Usually I don't like mocha. Mmm, I usually do not like mocha. I do love hazelnut though. I've been a hazelnut fiend lately. Huh, that's pretty good. Caffeine doesn't actually do anything for me, but I do like the sugar. Mmm, I like this a lot. And put the top on. Oh, that's bad. Don't do it that way. All right, this is why we call it Misadventures with Dami. Let me clean this up. <laughs> that was not my brightest idea. I knew, I knew there was a reason I didn't want to do it that way. That's why, that's why. All right. <laughs> All right, go with your gut, kids, because otherwise you'll make a mess. Mmm, I've never had this brand before. That's good, and they gave me hella coupons, so. I might buy it. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. Persephone is up and at them and harassing me as always. My baby daddy is home. Hello, baby daddy. Hey. Yes, y'all's favorite light skin is back. Wow. <laughs> oh, we're getting ready. We're going to Georgia. We're going to a party. Party. Everyone's vaccinated? Yes. It's requirement to work there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell so yeah. So we're gonna go hang out with some cool kids. We're gonna go on some adventures. Adventure. And yeah, this is why, I, this is the part where I told y'all like, it was gonna be a nice fun weekend vlog. This is the fun part. This is the fun part. Probably also the misadventures part. The misadventures part. We're gonna go to Black Friday. We're going to go to the thrift mall. Mall? Oh. I told y'all I'm back. I haven't been inside it yet, so I don't know if it's. I told y'all I'm back on a thrift kick because I want to live more sustainably, mm -hmm. and I'm very, very excited. There's so many thrift stores. Like just while we were, oh, I missed you. I love you. Yeah, I love you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, in the area that we're moving to, while we were looking for apartments, I saw so many thrift stores, and I, I feel like that's probably what pushed me back into the thrift. <laughs> into the thrift mood so I'm very excited to there go and see this stuff there. it is currently what like a <laughs> the watch <laughs> so we need to get going because they're an hour ahead it's an hour and a half drive two hour, hour drive 40, hour okay like it's like a two-ish hour drive and my battery's dying so we're gonna go <laughs> hello you old back <laughs> My mom is joining. Oh wait, I'm. Oh yeah, I can say you're you're joining a sorority. I can't no, say I'm, what sorority. 
I'm trying to get information on. Well, yeah. You're um, joining a sorority. That's all right. You can say it. You can be one of the cool kids. I try to join a sorority. That is cap. I. It's not for me, but. <laughs> I'm just fixing, fixing her hair, I'm gonna floop it. I'm making sure she has good lighting because I'm a great daughter and also I'm an influencer so like I know these things. Yes, you know these things. <laughs> you always talk about, I wanna be able to get videos. Are you trying to get all camera shy, girl? Anyway. I'm not trying to be camera shy, I'm trying to concentrate. I gotta put my email information in here so I can log on. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't wanna show you gray hairs. <laughs> Can y'all believe she had me when she was six years old? Oh my Whatever. <laughs> really loves Leah. <laughs> and I hope it looks like I love you as much as Levi loves you. I hope it looks like you love me as much as Levi Hildebrand loves his wife too because, oh my God. This, that man. This lighting is wife. trash. Okay. It is. It's garbage. I saw the thing loving. <laughs> y'all, does it seem like they love me? I hope it does. I don't want to be in a loveless marriage just for money. I mean, <laughs> I'm in it. I'm in it for money. <laughs> oh my gosh! And you ruined the money. <laughs> I'm drinking this coffee from Pete's Pete's Coffee again that, that they good. sent me. This stuff is really good, right? Do you agree? Where are you? I agree. They can't see you, but Chloe agrees. <laughs> so thank you so much to Pete's Coffee for sending me this. This is really good. And they sent me coupons. So I'm gonna order <laughs> I'm gonna get some more when we go grocery shopping when we move to the new place. All right, anyway, we're about to hit the road soon. I just wanted to update you guys. Adventure! I've never been in this store. Yeah, I know we had one in Hoover, but I genuinely didn't feel the need to go in. I mean, I guess we're about to see what the hype is all about no, because no, it's, it's, it's lit. It is lit. It's lit. Titty. Okay. First, start and go around. There's a method to the madness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> everything. everything today is five dollars. Everything today is five dollars. This is intriguing. Also, I have on my favorite mask. People think that I'm 50 years old when I wear it. That was an experience. Um. It wasn't terrible. I liked it. No, no. We, we can do that again. Yeah. We're gonna get food. Oh my gosh, you're so great at segueing. Thank yeah. you. We're gonna go get food, pushing them out the frame because this is my channel. Wow. Y'all are here for me. And yeah. Where we going? To the hibachi buffet. Oh, buffet. I'm telling you, it is the best quality buffet I have ever been to. My skin looks so good. Oh my god. Okay, let's go. All right, we are done with lunch. Chloe is in physical pain. <laughs> <laughs> physical pain over here. I'm like, meh, full, not satisfied, but that's what I get for being a picky eater at a buffet. Yeah. Are you good? No. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna go do some more thrifting. Ah, do the, do the, do the, do the, yeah! <laughs> we're headed to the party now. I had to walk on my tiptoes because I don't have platforms and these bell bottoms are a lot longer than I am. Bye -bye. We're late. We got tacos. I'm told that I was thought of when these were purchased. Got a bag full of sauces. Got a little charcuterie board. Some rolled meats. And then assorted snacks. Lovely. Hey, Desmond. I used to be able to feed. I've never seen Star Wars. You used to be able to feed Star Wars. Good morning everybody. It is the next day. We are at home. Everything is a mess. I have packages that I'm going to unbox here for us in a second. And Miss Mama's is as lazy as ever. We had a good time exploring our new city and uh the party last night was good. I'm not hung over. Love that for me. And today, I think we're just gonna chill. I haven't heard from my best friend. Um, she knows for being a little, little flaky, little flaky. But <laughs> if she ever pulls up, we're gonna go do stuff. If not, we're just gonna chill and have a nice at home day with the family. I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> 
We took a nap. We ate some food. I filled we up on brownies. Died. We didn't do anything. My best friend stood me up. Um, I don't know why. So, Alina, if you're watching this, Alina, if you're watching this, you're canceled. <laughs> Not really. I love you, but <laughs> but didn't do didn't do much. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Uh, your girl's a little emotionally drained. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so if you want to see, if you want to support me, if you want to see me thrive, like this video down below, comment, tell me what your favorite part was, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Till the vlog, bye. No. All right, somebody's a little cranky. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. bye. <laughs>